This is the new and first ever Hyundai Stargazer, which I currently think is the best entry-level MPV you can buy right now. If you were able to watch our first impressions video on this car, you'll be happy to know that our positive initial thoughts have largely remained unchanged after driving this for a week. What you're seeing here is the top-of-the-line GLS Premium variant, which shares the same external features as the mid-spec GLS. You get stuff like LED headlights, LED data running lights, 16-inch alley wheels, along with the futuristic and robotic design that easily stands out in the segment. Its single curved roof might not be to everyone's taste, but if one thing's for sure, you really wouldn't mistake this for any other MPV in its segment. Moving towards the back, and you're gonna see its huge and distinct H-shaped LED taillights. And especially at night, the Hyundai Stargazer easily stands out. So, while the exterior looks futuristic, does that modernity carry over to its interior? So here inside the new Hyundai Stargazer, you're gonna see a very futuristic interior design. So you've probably seen our first impressions video of this subcompact entry-level MPV and Alam nyo na, if you've watched that video, we were impressed by how this car looks. So, as you're gonna see, nga, there's a lot of bright colors, or at least rather, it's black pala. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of black colors and a lot of gray and silver hues across the interior of the Stargazer. So, it's leaning towards a more futuristic aesthetic. In terms of materials, they're all hard plastic though. Lalo na tong nandito sa may infotainment and gauge cluster thing, no? So, it's really all gray and... Yeah, it's a bit Fisher Price in terms of quality, itong bezel. But as for the rest of the dash, materials and the doors, yeah, again, hard plastic. Pero they don't feel as hollow as yung itong sa bezel dito sa harap natin, no? Other than that, though, I think this is a very stylish and functional interior. In terms of premium feel, I would prefer the Mitsubishi Expander pa rin and the Honda BRV. Yun nga lang for the BRV, you have to step up to the VX para may soft touch dash ka. Pero it's a bit pricey yung BRV VX. I said that's almost 1.4 million. So yeah, uh, that's what you get for a nicer interior though. So yeah, what this is, as mentioned kanina nga, is I think it's a highly functional interior. So you have a lot of hidden storage places sa dash. You have a glove box. Uh, for shelf, hidden storage dito sa, ano, sa air conditioning vents and a wireless charging pad at least for this GLS premium variant and an illuminated set of cup holders sa gabi which look really striking at night by the way uh, because of the cab forward design kasi this sort of looks like a bullet train nga diba itong Hyundai Stargazer so the pillars are really pushed out sa dulo so you have this large expanse of dash it's how good and talk about the infotainment system of this car you have an 8 inch touchscreen dito a touchscreen infotainment system that's made talaga by Hyundai Kia no it's the infotainment from the Hyundai Kia group so it's at some third party crap that you would see in other brands no so though to be honest naman ngayon thankfully in the subcompact MPV segment there are no more brands doing third party infotainments and they're really the OEM infotainments of their respective brands so here in the Hyundai Stargazer same case then 8-inch touchscreen looks beautiful in terms of it can resolution sa screen or at least it's a higher resolution I think compared to the competition very functional because you have hard physical keys dito sa sides ng screens niya and malaki yung icon so even if the car is moving medyo maalog yung rider so gonna be able to touch the buttons very easily uh, this also has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto up front maganda nga siya so very functional very high tech then also like the digital gauge cluster mo dito though I think I would prefer pa rin yung sa Veloz and sa Expander Cross in terms of graphics and functionality but this isn't too bad and I think this is a good time now to move to the back seats of the Hyundai Stargazer so we're now here at the back of the Hyundai Stargazer and as you're gonna see in terms of legroom there's actually plenty to offer in terms of headroom I think it's the best aspect pa nga sa to lang of this car in terms of space for the second row passengers there's also a cup holder on each door. Wala nga lang cup holder for the dito sa armrest ato. And also, by the way, yes, while you have a center armrest, you also don't have a headrest for the middle passenger. So yeah, I'm so sorry for you, dude. Lakang headrest for this video and 
it's one of the widest I think in the class in terms of interior space. So apart from the cup holders and the center armrest, you also have two USB ports uh, center console mo. You also have a three partition pocket here in the left front seat. So right side though, there's only one pocket and the reason why this only has one pocket the so right side is you have a picnic table which can hold up to 3.5 kilos worth of food. By the way, the seats move forward and backward and these seats by the way aren't even at their max uh, sliding position. So there's even more legroom now. So you know, actually there's plenty of space that you can adequate to make it Now it's a good time to talk about the third row of the Hyundai Stargazer. So getting into the third row of the Hyundai Stargazer, so it's bearable, I think. Uh, headroom's fine for me. My bigger issue though is in, uh, it's really legroom. But again, if you ask nicely to the one sitting at these seats, uh, there's gonna be, I think, enough legroom for a medium haul trip, I think. So yeah, in terms of space, the Hyundai Stargazer uh, has plenty to offer regardless of which tow we're talking about and now it's a good time I think to migrate towards the trunk and talk about the trunk space of the Hyundai Stargazer and then as for cargo space the Hyundai Stargazer offers 200 liters with the third row seats up but if you fold down those seats the cargo space increases to 585 liters both of these figures by the way are on par for the rest of the competition and then as for cargo space with all of those seats folded down Hyundai hasn't provided any numbers on the upside, at least alam natin yung numbers ng kanyang powertrain figures, which in this case is 113 horsepower and 144 newton meters of torque from a 1.5 liter four cylinder gasoline engine. Power is then sent to the front wheels via a CVT. So, driving the Hyundai Stargazer here is a uh, at city speeds. So this is for me a gauge on how good the car brand is because with such budget constraints, syempre to meet a certain price point lang. So how are you gonna make your car feel as nice as possible while still maintaining a certain price point? And I think in that regard, Hyundai has nailed it perfectly with the Stargazer. I think the best pa nga in fact compared to the rest of the segment. So it begins with how good this car drives here at city speeds. So I always mention chassis rigidity because for me, important is the chassis rigidity because inherently, if you structure your head, everything else almost follows through. So here with the Stargazer, even if you're going through a bit of rough patches of road, hindi masyadong maalog yung structure. It feels the most solid, the most rigid sa katawan niya, or rather sa class niya. There isn't a lot of cowl shape going through the car or through the vehicle structure. So dun pa sa katawan niya, the Stargazer is already off to a good start. So from a handling perspective naman, yeah, I'm really sorry pagdating sa segment na to, I really have low standards admittedly pagdating sa handling ng mga kotse dito. Again, they're meant to meet a certain price point. So in terms of how fun this Stargazer is, it's not what I would call fun. And I'm so sorry, even a BRV which is my most favorite, at least dynamically so pagdating sa mga paliko, it's not what I would still call fun to drive but I guess the appropriate term to use is the word pleasant so here's the twisty roads, the Stargazer is actually quite pleasant so the suspension is softly sprung nga lang so, which, so that means there's body roll if you, if you push this car too much sa corners but sakto lang for the class, sakto lang for cars like the you know, yung kanyang mga kalaban like the Mitsubishi Expander. The BRV is the best in terms of body control for me and in terms of steering sharpness. But the, but the Stargazer is not too bad. Hindi naman siya, let's say, like parang the body roll isn't dramatic. Like it's in a controlled manner naman. So, hindi naman siya parang it's in a under... Well, it will understeer if you push it too much. Pero hindi naman siya yung dramatic, no? So, it's sakto lang for the segment. Hindi naman siya yung roly-poly. But yun nga, the BRV is the most dynamic in the segment for me in terms of handling so yun nga we're going through more bad roads like not the best in terms of yung kanyang yung road I mean it's not the best in terms of smoothness pero the Stargate is dealing with the bumps pretty well so as usual with these 7 seater subcompact MPV yung suspension sa likod has a bit of firmness to it because syempre they're meant to carry heavy loads so even if it's empty though Yes, there's a degree of firmness sa rear suspension niya, but it's not what you would call matagdag. It's actually 
pretty good pa rin in terms of how it deals with bumps. Even if you fill up the tires with 36 PSI na hangin for it to accommodate a full 7 seat capacity, ang ganda pa rin ng ride niya. There's a bit of sharpness sa pagdating sa, sa kanyang tires. But as far as the suspension goes, ang ganda pa rin ng suspension niya. It deals pretty well with bumps na even at 36 PSI. And of course, if you load up this car more, mas lalong ganda yung ride niya. As we drive here sa mga twisted roads, you're gonna notice din yung kanyang 1.5 liter gasoline engine in yung kanyang CVT or in Hyundai Kia Speak, isang kumpanya lang naman sila, yung kanyang intelligent variable transmission. And it's actually, it's ace, no? That engine and the transmission is the highlight, I think, of the Hyundai Stargazer apart from the car structure, which is very solid nga as mentioned kanina. So, the engine, the 1.5 liter engine, though it's not the best in terms of outright power, that would be the Honda BRV. But in terms of yung hatak niya, it's actually pretty good. And the CVT that's mated to it is also its highlight because of the fact na it doesn't have too much of that rubber band feel. So, ayun, when you accelerate sa mga uphill, mga ganyan, because you have a CVT as opposed to a force with automatic that Nasa totoo lang, it's only the expander and the Ertiga are using at this point. Sandalaw na lang yung sa segment na may ganon. I'm so sorry, they can always argue na, ah, it's gonna be heavy duty, durable, whatever, ganyan, ganyan. It's their weakness as well at this point. Because you're not limited to just those four gears nga. Mas flexible yung power band mo ngayon. And as a result of that, if we're gonna overtake cars with a full load sa mga twisted loads ato, mas may confidence ka to do that because the CVT is able to meet the ratio, the appropriate ratio para sakto siya sa power band ng engine dun sa kanyang peak torque and peak horsepower figure and again, normally, kung makapansin yung mga reviews ko, I would normally complain about CVTs or at least, not the CVT inherently itself but if the tuning is more on the rubber band thing that drones the engine so, dito there's that pero kasi ang maganda sa CVT ng Hyundai Kia Group is yung kanyang fake gear changes so it's trying to simulate gear changes now. So as a result, wala ka nung parang droning ng engine. It actually, it will actually upshift, putting that in quotes. It will actually upshift to simulate a gear change. So basically, lessen yung ka ng rubber band feel. And as a result of that, it's single-handedly the best transmission in the segment as a result. There's usable power throughout a wide rev range. And as a result of the CVT ren, apart from making the engine feel flexible, Ang ganda na fuel economy mo. In fact, it's the best pa nga in the segment right now in terms of fuel efficiency. So, I've actually driven a huge percentage of this car in the city. And for a subcompact MPV to register 11.5 km per liter sa city to, in counting EDSA, nag-EDSA rin kasi ako with this car for most of the duration that this car was with me. Ah. For it to do double digit, that's already amazing fuel economy figure. And ang average ko ngayon, as of the moment, is at 12.3 kilometers per liter. That's singularly the best figure in the segment dito sa subcompact MPVs, no? So, okay, we've talked about the pulling power, the transmission, the structure, the suspension. Now, let's talk about the brakes. The brakes are sakto lang, I think. Like, I mean, okay, they're standard brakes, usual brakes lang. Pero, you know, uh, it's pretty good. It does the job okay enough and well yeah those are breaks then basically that's the thing with the stargazer now let's try to evaluate the stargazer ngayon when it comes to its highway driving performance so out here sa highway this is where the Hyundai stargazer continues to shine so usually cars at this segment this is where they start to show their weakness kasi syempre nga as mentioned kanina these cars are developed with such huge cost constraints kasi nga kapantay lang nitong presyo ng mga subcompact sedans. But with that in mind, itong Hyundai Stargazer naman, the one thing that I like here is that Hyundai is able to make this car feel much more like a bigger car compared to, let's say, the Expander, yung mga BRVs. In terms of yung katawan, yung rigidity, yung stability, this is really on top of the segment. Like, kasi this is one of the best for me in the segment. But where this stands out is yung kanyang level of stability sa high speed. So, even at 100 kph, I think this is the quietest in its segment. There's a bit of road noise pa rin, as you would expect pa rin in a car at this price point. Pero, compared to that mga kalaban niya, this is the best uh, road noise suppression among all of its competitors. Ang tahimik niya. So, as mentioned, naka-CVT siya. And kanina, it performed really well sa ating city and twisted road driving, no? But, 
here in the highway, that's where the CVT continues to shine as well. So when you put your foot down, responsive you can ng gear changes. And not only that, it's trying to mimic a tradition automatic. So, hindi siya yung nagdo-drone. Okay, may droning effect pa rin sa engine, pero when you stop the throttle, it's mimicking talaga a tradition automatic. So, here in the CVT ng Hyundai Stargazer, ang flexible ang transmission mo because you're not limited basically to just four gears. You're basically limited to what ratio that CVT lang is capable of operating. And as a result of that, ang baba ng RPM mo while you're cruising down the highway. And normally, I would complain about a CVT rubber band feel, but not much here nga. So yeah, based on what I've said, so to lang, this is the best subcompact budget MPV for me right now, which is the Hyundai Stargazer. They're late to the game, ang Hyundai, but you know what? They've really taken their time really well. They've come up with an MPV that doesn't feel as budgety as the competition. It's really good, really good. <music> Pricing for the Hyundai Stargazer starts at 1,068,000 pesos, which gets the base GL variant. For that price, you get halogen headlights, multi-reflector taillights, silver 16-inch wheels, fabric interior, analog gauges, and well, that's pretty much it. Stepping up to the GLS, adds LED daytime running lights, two-tone 16-inch wheels, those H-shaped LED taillights, a leatherette interior, smart entry with push button start, a rear seat table, an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a reverse camera, and electronic stability control, which we think should also be included in the base GL. Lastly, this range-topping JLS Premium adds LED headlights, wireless charging, and a suite of Hyundai SmartSense Advanced Driver Assistance features, including automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, safe exit assist, lane centering, automatic high beams, rear cross traffic alert, though no adaptive cruise control. Even then, the Hyundai Stargazer offers the most comprehensive suite of advanced driver assistance tech in the segment. Hyundai may be late to the subcompact MPV segment, but even then, we think it's actually time well spent. And that's because the new Stargazer is currently our favorite entry-level MPV. Which is why it'd be a shame if this vehicle wasn't part of your shortlist. <laughs> <laughs>